Hello my friends, my name is Christine. Welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you an organized home tour, which means that I will selectively choose the items in my house that are organized and avoid the areas that are a complete disaster to make myself look better. What? It's kind of a joke, but this is also what we're going to do. <laughs> I'm not the most organized person in the world. I'm definitely not a minimalist. <gasps> no. But there are a few organizational items that I have implemented into my house that are working well for me. So I would love to take you along today, show you what they are. So maybe if you want to pick one or two and start them in your own house, you'll get a little bit of inspiration in today's video. So let's get started. Location number one is under the kitchen sink. I did an entire video on organizing under the kitchen sink. All of my organization videos I'll leave down below in the doobly-doo for you. And here is what it looks like several months later and it is definitely still working for me. Stacking shelves at Walmart. This is my recycle bin. The things I don't use a ton are tucked back in here. I have an extra box of the gloves, extra cleaning supplies here. And when we have recycling, we put it into this bin and when this is full, we take it outside to the main container. I have put all of my sponges in this bottom one because I only use one at a time. And I keep this bin actually just on top like this because this is the one I use most often. And this long skinny bin has all of my rags for the kitchen, barkeeper's friend, rinse aid, and paper towels that I also don't use that often. I have been very pleased with what has gone on here. It works very well for me. Is it the most beautiful? No, it is not, but it is efficient and it makes sense for my life. Another location in the kitchen is this spice cabinet. That is not great lighting. Let's flip it. I also did an entire video on this and I am really liking it so far. Let's talk about the things that are working and the things that are not working. I expressed concern over this wire rack when I first purchased it because there's holes and the spices can go, hang on, like, well, they can fall off. I'm trying to like show you and they're not even doing it. I love the fact that I can see everything really well. Now contrast that to the other side of the microwave where I picked up this wooden stacker piece that fits in here beautifully and I like this a lot better. The other cabinet is just a lot wider so I would need several of these but I use all of my extracts and all of those things here. And I did pick up a Lazy Susan for all of my day-to-day -day use items. Maybe it's not the prettiest thing, but I actually really like this. I know having a big container like this for often used utensils by the stove is amazing. It saves cabinet space, and these are all the items that I use all the time. I realize it looks like a lot, but I truly do use them all the time. And I love this container from Walmart because it's one of the biggest that I've found, so you can fit a ton of stuff in there. Don't worry, most of the organizational tools or products that I'll show you in this video, I will try and link those down below so you can go shop them later if any of these interest you. Now let's head into the bedroom. Now my bedroom is not very large. I try and keep as little as possible in this room and most of everything over there in the closet and in the bathroom, so let's head in there. I did an entire bathroom under the counter organization video using items from the Dollar Tree. And here is what it looks like several months later. This is working for me. I like these little small shelby bins where most of my lotions and body sprays are. I keep spare items here and here, trash bags, my jewelry boxes here. I actually don't know where to put that yet. I just started using this to hold my hair back when I wash my face at night. This little bin is all my hair stuff. I've actually been using this sexy hair smooth and seal when I flat iron or curl my hair, it's working really, really well. And here are a couple of other products that I like. I use this leave-in conditioner, it's so awesome. This is when I do my hair curly, I'm digging it. I organized this drawer, does it look insane? It's actually not that bad because this bin right here is all my pedicure stuff, like foot, nail, supplies. I purge most of my stuff. I do have some extra cotton swabs there and there. And it's where I keep my hair styling tools. So I have my hair dryer, straightener, my wand that my daughter stole and just brought back. Next up is my work in progress closet. I've done several videos on this closet, a full clothing declutter. We got rid of a ton of stuff in here. I even started painting the wall, although that is kind of on hold at the moment as I continue to declutter. First of all, let's come in. I took out this whole bottom rod, I had a rod like that, and we put in this Ikea dresser. The next time I make it down to Ikea, it's a four hour drive, I wanted to get the matching one of this that's uh, only the three drawers and take this bottom rod off and put it 
here. A little bit cheaper to do it that way than custom closet systems. Like if you're gonna do an alpha system or the closet made systems, just putting a dresser that fits your space is gonna work so much better, especially the ones from Ikea. This one right here is the, I think it's the Hemnes dresser and it is $250. The white stain, which is the one we got, actually is solid wood. It's pine, but it's wood. Remember, work in progress. <laughs> Over here, I have several hooks on the wall. So this piece of wood has been screwed into studs and then these hooks are screwed into the wood. So no matter the weight of the items that we put here, this is not falling down. Uh, one of my purses right here, a bunch of scarves, a hat, robes, jackets, and belts that we're using over here. I ended up getting this tall, thin laundry basket from Walmart that would kind of fit in this weird corner. And you can see that I started painting. <laughs> Did get these shelves for shoes to use this like builder grade space a little bit better. You can see them a little bit better over here on my side and you can see that like I started painting, but I kind of stopped right <laughs> We're getting there. Here are my shoes. And of course I have like a seam ripper cause I needed that recently. And I've been using these command. Oh no, oops. I have these to throw on the floor, but you can use these on these interior pieces to hang your jewelry. So I actually just purged all of my necklaces and I only have a couple left and they're all right here. Can you tell I like silver jewelry? I frequently get asked about that Skippy peanut butter jar. <laughs> It's a change jar. It's actually not, it's not like my personal stash of peanut butter. So here, I'll even prove it. There. Someone always says something about that peanut butter jar. So I just wanted to make sure you know exactly, you know, what kind of stash I keep in my closet and what I don't. I don't even know what to say about this because like I said, I'm not a minimalist. I'm not, I probably will never be. This probably looks like a ton of shoes to you after I purged a lot of them. Running shoes, running shoes, running shoes, weightlifting shoes. I'm not getting rid of them. Brown boots, black boots. You need both boots. Like, I, I don't know what to say. I like shoes. That's what I have to say. <laughs> That's my closet organization that we are still working on, but I'm really happy with the progress thus far. I would love to show you something now that has changed my life as far as paper organization. Let's go take a look. I probably didn't even tell you yet that this video is in collaboration with Dawn from The Minimal Mom and the huge group of ladies that are doing the Mega March motivation series for the first two weeks of March. So if you wanna see other home organized, no wait, organized home tours from the playlist down below, no. <laughs> if you wanna see more organized home tours, I will have an entire playlist down below of an amazing group of people on YouTube for you to go check out and get more ideas. Thank you to Dawn for inviting me once again and uh, let's look at these binders. These two binders are the most amazing thing I have ever done. This one is the school binder. I have a tab for each child in here on the front or on the back. I can put the bell schedule, I can put the lunch schedule back in here so we can always see it. And I have tabs for each student. So when they go back to school and they send home all of the papers, all of the emails, all of the login, sign and stuff with codes, I can put them in here with sheet protectors so I can always find them. So if one of my students misses a day of school because of whatever, I can say, oh, I don't remember your teacher's email. Oh wait, it's in the binder. And then when the school year is over, I can take all of these out, throw them away and be ready for the following year. Oh, that binder's a little dirty, isn't it? <laughs> I have kept school fee receipts, driver's ed information and school maps in here. It's so amazing. I cannot express the magnificent life-changing ease of stress and peace of mind I have experienced by implementing the school binder. I highly recommend you do it. You have everything in one spot and your kids are like, oh, I don't know what's for lunch today. Be like, oh, go look at the school binder. It's on the back. <laughs> I love it. The other binder for me is actually my work binder and my friend Jen Chapin kind of told me about this idea. I have a tab for every single month. I need to put marches in there. I put the month on it and I keep everything. If I have brand deal contracts, they go in here. Receipts for business expenses that I have, I can scan them with my QuickBooks app on my phone. Once they're scanned, they go in this envelope in this front little spot. If they're too big to fit in here, they'll just go in this entire thing. And then every single month I have everything I need for taxes, for brand deals. It's all in this one binder. If you have a business or something and you need a way to get organized, I have been loving this system instead of just having papers all willy nilly. These are some of the best things I have ever done in my life. 
If you take nothing away from this video and you don't have binders like this yet for your kid's school or for business stuff, please try these. This is our chore list that I print out and tape to the kitchen wall. I have said often that I never ever unload the dishwasher. That's because my kids always do it. Yeah, there you go. All I need to do is on Tuesday, I say, oh, who's on clean dishes today? Oh, it's Ryan. Ryan, it's your turn to unload the clean dishes. No one complains because they know what their day is. So if you want your kids to participate a little more, just make the expectation clear in advance by making a schedule, putting it up, and everybody takes a turn and it is all fair. We're gonna go into the basement. Ooh, it's where all my boys' bedrooms are. Let's go take a look. Oh yeah, and Dave's working on a project bike right now. And yes, we still love our spin bike. Number one is get things off the floor. <laughs> We bought this little floating shelf for Andrew. His Rubik's cubes are gonna go up here and we got him a desk where he can keep his books and paper and items like this. Here is Ryan's floating shelf in his room. I think these are the better homes and gardens and we have these cubbies. So I would highly recommend these cubbies. I'll link these down below. They fit the 13 by 13 perfectly. They're heavy duty. They have a nice handle. Get your kids special items that they wanna keep up off the floor off your counters and they can display them nicely. So we have some hats, some pictures, and definitely some Lego guys. To get some more ideas, check out the full playlist down below. I do have some horrible Monica Geller closet moments that I'm still trying to work through. So more videos of those coming up soon. And I am out for today. Bye-bye.